Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about no detention policy. The policy of no detention which is going on till class 8th. So we are going to talk about pros and cons and what the, what the effects of this policy in, uh, on, in education system and so let's start friends under the 2009 right to education act the primary and middle class students cannot be failed irrespective of how they perform in the school exams this decision was taken to reduce pressure on students and to avoid dropouts from school. But now this policy of no detention is being severely criticized. It is alleged this policy has created havoc in the system of education. The students know they won't fail even if they don't study. Many states have opposed the no detention policy. They believe that holding exams will encourage children to learn more. I too in favor such a view strongly. The policy of no detention makes both the teachers and the students careless and irresponsible. By the time students reach the ninth class, much damage is already done. Students find it impossible to cope up with the new standard of studies since their previous foundations have not been laid securely. This deficiency stays with the students all their life and they fail to realize the full potential of their natural capabilities. Therefore, a strong case has been made by the various state education ministers to rectify the RTE Act and bring back the performance-based promotions at class 5th and class 8th. The Union HRD Ministry has also woken up to the need of such an amendment and it is hoped the, that the ministry will soon issue a notification and allow holding of exams for class 5th and class 8th. Students who don't pass the exam can be allowed to take another exam in a couple of weeks time. Overall, we can say that there is need of amendment and necessary steps towards no detention policy. I hope this video will help you in your study and you can write a speech or article on this topic. Thank you. If you like the video, so share it with your loving ones and relatives, friends. Thank you.